Soviet ski troops on reconnaissance. Final checkup on the enemy positions before a new offensive is launched in the grimly contested area contained in the triangle formed by Voronezh, by Elgorod and Kursk. A winter landscape with embattled armies facing each other across the snow-covered plains. A white calm before the impending storm which breaks upon the German lines as Soviet artillery reduce their targets under a concentrated fire. The start of an armoured clash in the sector west of Voronezh. An eruption, the outcome of which can affect the whole military situation in this war where generals think in frontline terms of thousands of miles. For the first time, we see British Matilda tanks in action in Russia. We're given a gratifying glimpse of some of our weapons helping in the destruction of Germans in the great battles raging on Soviet soil. Therefore, shoot up ground targets, smashing enemy columns and creating havoc behind the lines. This is the town of Kastornui. It's nothing now but a smoldering ruin. It has been ground into the earth on which it once stood. Its face is gone, but somewhere is a railway junction. It's still important. A breakthrough has been effected, and Soviet riflemen are piggybacked on tanks to harass the retreating enemy. War permits no easing up of effort. <laughs> 